Hello all, this is another quick video from us at CoreTuning.net. We're going to talk about the mapping tool against the mass air curve that is built into BE. First things first, we need to get a data log open that has the wide bands brought into BE, so that needs to be operational first. Once this is working, then all we simply need to do is go to mass air, mass air flow, then you can right click, select mapping. This brings up the mapping table. <clears throat> As you can see, the mapping table matches your MAF voltages that are in your tune automatically. BE does that for us. The thing it does not do, it does not make the headers match your data logs. So what you need to do is go and verify to make sure <clears throat> that your commanded air fuel matches the cell headers and your widebands have to match the cell headers as well as your errors need to match. Once this is done you need to make sure that the MAF voltage data logging point matches. So if it's VMAF, MAF V, if you're using a enhanced PID or a SAE PID, whatever it is, those naming that naming convention must be here. For this to work. So now once this is all matched up we can save this configuration and for this one I have it saved as match truck but you can save it as whatever you want. That way you can open it quicker next time for here like this one's a copperhead so see how the math doesn't match any conventional things as well as the headers are different as well. But anyway, back to match truck. So once the headers all match the data log, you can open the data log. So now you have your commanded air fuel. Here's your actual from your wideband. Here's your percentage of difference. This is bank two, all the same stuff. Then you have a sum. Then you have your average percentage. Here, this will show the last count, or the counts, how many times each cell was hit during this data log. This will show last known. This will show min's, max as an average. So now, at 3.88 volts, you can right click, copy, and then go to 3.88 volts, and you can paste percentage, and that does it all for you. The one thing I have to say is I like to look at it, see how it got a little bit uh, crooked or jagged. I like to right click, open new window, right click again, edit point, vertical lock, and you can manually smooth this out to just make it a good clean curve again. A lot of this happened due to just street driving this truck and transient fueling and some other things were coming into play. So usually you can do this two or three times and your mass air curve will be pretty much spot on. If you guys have any questions, you can email us at ben or adam at coretuning.net or clint at analyzer.net and we'd be glad to answer any questions. Thank you.